All right, guys, this is a vision I got from the Lord um, on May 3rd, 2012. The vision starts off, the Lord's to my left-hand side, and him and I cross this body of water. I look down, I see the water beneath us, and we're moving very fast, and I'm aware that it's the Atlantic Ocean. Next thing I know, we're staring at this mountain. And we're looking at the mountain and the trees and everything like that, and we're about 40 feet above the tree lines, the top of the tree lines of this mountain, and we're just looking at it. And next thing I, I know, I hear this uh, phrase three times, Canary Islands, Canary Islands, Canary Islands. Shortly after the last time that was said, the mountain I was watching, just looking at, right in front of me, just boom, went. Now, I was staring right at the part that broke off, okay? And I watched this mountain just totally separate and drop. It dropped so fast that the trees that I had just been staring at were now bent backwards because of the force and the speed of this thing dropping. And there was nothing but just little pebbles and rocks falling after it. It had made a clean break as if you had a butter knife and went into a stick of butter on a diagonal like that. That's how this thing just broke free and went right down into the sea. Now I watched as this mountain just went down and it, it just took everything with it and it hit the sea and before the mountain was even totally in the water there was this wave that was generated that instantly went to 300 feet.
I seen this thing go out and up to 300 feet. And then at that moment, the Lord took me back across the Atlantic Ocean. I seen it below us again. He took me back to the east coast of America. And at this point, people had been aware. They had been warned that the tsunami was coming. So they were trying to get out of their towns. And I seen chaos, chaotic situations where people were running out of gas and they were forcing themselves into other people's vehicles to get out or they were pulling people out of their cars and taking their cars. Um, it was every man for himself. It was chaotic, pandemonium, um, gas stations running out of gas. It was just pure animal instinct. People were trying to get out and they really couldn't go anywhere. There's only a couple roads and a lot of those coastal cities, there's a couple main roads that take you out and they were instantly jam jam-packed with traffic and there was accidents and people were riding on the grass. I mean, it was just, it was a situation that was uncontrollable. So people were just going everywhere, but real, no one was really getting anywhere. There was no order in it. People were panicking. So I seen all this chaos and next thing I know, the Lord took me above North America and we were just looking at the whole continent. And I'm looking at it, and I look to my uh, right-hand side to the East Coast. And the East Coast, all from the top to the bottom, is gone as we know it. It had taken on so much water that it was, it was gone as we know it. As I look from the top to the bottom, New Jersey stuck out in my mind. New Jersey was gone. It was no longer there. The ocean was now up into Pennsylvania. That was gone, and I looked down the coast, and a lot of those cities down, or the states below, you know, going south towards Florida, were half covered, or even more, you know, the water had come in so far, and then when I looked at Florida, it was totally gone. Um, I was in shock, looking at the devastation there, and then I looked to my left, at the west coast, and the west coast had taken on water too, in Oregon and Washington, and that water didn't seem to come in as far as the east coast. I guess because of the land, but as it went down into California, it took on a lot of water, and California was actually separated from the United States um, at one part. So down there in Nevada, where as we see it now, it's right on Nevada. This was separated; it was pushed out towards the ocean, and in that separation there, there was water that had come up and was flooding into Nevada. So California is separated at a point and pushed off into the ocean and that gap there is also allowing flood to come in and then I look at the southern region of the United States from where Florida was around to the Gulf of Mexico and all of those lower states right there are affected by this flood also as well as the Gulf of Mexico um, I remember looking in uh, I believe it's Louisiana it's totally underwater almost to the very border at the top there 
um, Mississippi, those those bottom states were anywhere from halfway flooded to totally underwater. And the thing that stuck out with the southern region was fires that were burning. I looked down and the fires were just burning. And the whole time throughout this vision, I feel the Lord looking at me, showing me, look, this is what happens. Look at this. And the places that were safe in the vision were like Montana, Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota, uh, Colorado. Those places didn't seem to be affected by this. And um, in the vision, I knew that it was going to be at the end of August. The time frame of when this happens was the end of August, from August 20th to the August 31st. So within that 11-day span, this this event had come, the tsunami, whatever, a series of events, I really don't know. I just know that the tsunami came on the East Coast. Um, anyway, that's the time frame. August 20th to the 31st. I do not know the year. But I know that this is something that the destruction we can't even fathom because we have nothing to put it up against. We've never seen nothing like it. We have no source of reference to this kind of devastation. So that's the vision, guys. I got it on May 3rd. The only states that I seen that were totally underwater were New Jersey and Florida. Uh, as far as the other states, I don't know. All I can tell you is that you have to know Jesus Christ. You have to know Jesus Christ. You do not know when your last day will be on this earth, and you do not know when you'll have to go before the Lord. Are you ready to go before Jesus? Do you know Him personally? Do you have a relationship with Him? Do you seek God? Does He speak to you? You have to get to know Him. You have to personally know Jesus Christ. He's your only hope. And this will be loss of life you can't even imagine. Because everybody's trying to get out there and not going to get out. Many people are not going to get out. We will lose states in this. Whole states. The devastation is insane. But this is what he showed me, guys, so I'm giving it to you. God bless you. Thank you.